Hello and welcome to the Abacus installation demonstration. Here is a wall mount and here is a ceiling mount. Here is the light pipe for the lock sensor. And here is the TOF sensor. This is the device type and the device ID and the micro USB. All the EMVs are inside the casing. The difference between a wall mount and a ceiling mount is that the TOS sensor has moved to the top. This is the mounting clip with the screw holes. To properly clip the clip into the abacus, first put the back in, and then put the front in. To take the clip off, start from the front, and then pull it off on the back. Here is all the things you need to install the device. You need a pencil, a measuring tape, masking tape, a screwdriver, two meter USB cable, and a laptop. Screws, and a step ladder or ladder. Then you can decide where you want to install the device. Avoid installing the device where the door swings under it. In this case, we can put it here. Measure in line with the door, not on the door frame. Measure the width, half it to find the middle mark. You may now install the device. Make sure the TRF sensor is in line with the mark. Screw in the back plate and clip in the device. The Abacus comes pre-installed with a configuration. If you need to change the configuration, I will show you at the end of the video. Plug the device into power. To calibrate the TOF using your phone, search for the NRF Connect application in the Play Store or App Store. Proceed to open up the app. Go to Scanner and type in TOF Cal. Make sure to select the right device ID, then hit the Connect button. You will see the device flashing red as it's busy calibrating the distance. When the device has stopped flashing red, the calibration has finished. The Abacus casts two zones and records in or out instances based on the order the zones are tripped. Here is an example of which way the directions work. And that's it for the quick installation. If you're still not sure what to do, or want to change TOF North to TOF South, carry on watching. Place masking tape in an X shape on the underside of the clip. This will help keep the clip in place when you take the device off and screw it in.
replace the device. Plug the cable in. and connect it to the laptop. Install ErgoLens. Open up ErgoLens. Click on the device on the top. If the device is not showing up, go to Device Manager. Right-click the port with the exclamation mark and click Update Driver and search for CP210X Universal Windows Driver that we can provide if it doesn't work. And it should update. I already have mine installed. I will now show you how to make a config. First, click on ThingStream. Turn on the setting to be able to calibrate the device from your phone. TOF North. Turn the TOF sensor on. Enable the environmental sensors. Make sure the scaling values are all one. Turn on the ENS sensor. Enable the Bluetooth. And then proceed to save the config to use in the future. This configuration is already on the device when you receive it. Apply the config and wait for it to boot up. Once it's finished booting up, you can calibrate the DOF. Make sure there's nothing in the way of the DOF sensor. Once it's finished calibrating, you may test the device. Walk into the room and walk out of the room. If that direction is wrong, you can just change it to TOF self and hit apply. If you are happy with the position, you can unplug it. Proceed to screw in the screws. Take off the tape. and place the device back in. Connect it to power and you should be done. For a ceiling mount, measure the door again. Find the middle mark. Make a mark on the roof, in line with the mark on the door. Make sure the two-wave sensor is in line with the mark and move the device about 15 to 20 centimeters away. The higher you go above the door, the more you have to move it outwards. Connect the cable to the abacus. And connect it to the laptop.
load the config we made earlier. And hit apply. And wait for it to start up. And calibrate the TOF. Unplug the cable, unclip the device and screw in the screws, connect it to power, and then you should be finished.